This rarity is weird. This is uh, like a Majin Vegeta, I think. What the heck? What is up, Joe Crew? It is me, Joku DMD. And unfortunately, I do not have any set 13 cards to strip them for you guys yet, but I will eventually and we'll get there. You'll probably have seen a lot from other people, but it isn't going to make ours any less exciting as we strip them on the Holy Hexagon. But I do have some very exciting stuff to strip them with you guys today. Since I believe pirates stole my cardboard, I have decided to take my own pirate way and find some bootleg Dragon Ball cards that are definitely pirated materials. Pirates were also bootleggers, but a big shout out to my dude Sebastian on Facebook. Thanks for the insider info. Merci beaucoup, mon ami. Je pense que c'est fantastique cette carte beau. Et il y a beaucoup de. J'ai oublié beaucoup de français. Je parle en petit quand j'étais petit. Mais, if this is your guys' first time here and you want to see Shrippums on a weekly basis of all these hot cash cardos, beautiful Dragon Ball art that we can appreciate together on the Holy Hexagon, make sure to smash that subscription button. It really helps me out if you're a returning member of the Joe Crew. Thank you for coming by and watching the strip em. Sorry, I don't have any set 13. I promise I will soon, but let's enjoy what we have and check out these bootleg Dragon Ball Cardos. So this is definitely Chinese. I'm pretty sure these are from China. It came to my house in some weird kind of packaging that looked like it was from China. So I'm assuming that's the case. And my friend Sebastian showed me these cards on Facebook. Shout out to him. Thank you again for the info. And as I was looking at them, I was like, okay, these are definitely arts that I've seen on like Pinterest or on uh, Instagram. Like this is this is fan art or from Doken or Legends. Um, they're like these Legends puzzle pieces, but the plastic on here for sure is not like, this is not normal card game kind of strip them plastic it's like the crispy the crispy plastic and i think i think the way you can really tell the gogeta blue is on i haven't seen a single gogeta blue card and you can see this is the puzzle pieces put it together the puzzle you can really tell it's bootleg because they, they put this little piece of tape on the inside they're gonna cut that also but uh there's like 40 packs in here or something there's a lot of packs in here and they all have the uh, Animal Kingdom bootlegger signal. You can see it's clearly bootleg. Um, they also have the more, like, if you guys have ever gotten counterfeit cards before, you know how the pack feels different. This is not, this is not the way that normal trading card packs feel. But bootleg or not, we got to bless in the pack. Oh, pack it, be bless it. And thank you for the Shrippum experience adventure. Let's put this over here with Parunga. That will be our bless in the pack. Well, let's get into this bootleg strip them. There's a couple different rarities here. I think the highest rarity is like, I don't remember, I mean, it's like AR or something like that. But these R's are just um, like parallel foils. And then at the back of the pack, you get another one that's either gonna be, it's either a puzzle piece or it's a Purunga. This is gonna be a Purunga. Whenever you see that white on the back, that means it's a Purunga. And uh, ooh, the SSR uh, Goku Black. We got one of those pretty recently. The print quality on these is not fantastic. So it's not really something I'm gonna be taking my loops unless we get something really really hot it's not something i'm gonna have to really take much of a closer look at because the uh the images are pretty pixelated but i do have to give them credit on their uh the energy they put into the foiling texture i see we got this uh, ssr go tanks again with the foil texture here and it's got a nice gold stamp ssr i think is like the third highest rarity <laughs> the, the centering <laughs> centering on this one's uh a little, a little off. I think if I, I think I wonder what would happen if you try to send one of these into like BGS or PSA. They probably like throw it away or like report you to some authority. Ooh, the SSR Gohan, future Gohan, and it doesn't look like he has an arm. The Gohan we all deserve and wish we had. They printed that five a little close. He must cost five energy. They look almost like like a mix between Dragon Ball Heroes and Doken. They're like somewhere in between those with a variety of other art that I think is just from like Pinterest or like people online making fan art. And then this is like a parallel foil and another Purunga. All these Purungas. I'm glad Purunga could join us here. This one's gonna be a Purunga as well. SR Krillin. Kuririn Abunai! And the uh, Purunga strip them. What do we got here? Pirate party strip them. You know, if pirates are gonna steal your Dragon Ball cards, you might as well open some pirates Dragon Ball cards, right? Isn't that kind of how it goes? But we will have some set 13 stuff. Guys, I know um, it's kind of a bummer that your local, a lot of local gaming stores kind of got the short end of the stick with uh, cards from this set. But 
I think in this situation, it's kind of sometimes uh, beneficial to take a step back and look at the big picture of things. Yeah, it's a bummer and you can't play the new stuff and there may be somebody at a bigger event that's gonna have the new cards and you can get them. And if you really want them, you know, you can buy singles. Singles are always a cheaper way of getting cards anyway. And you may not be able to build, you know, the exact deck that you wanna build, but you might as well appreciate that we have this amazing card game to play. Yeah, there's some hiccups. It's more frustrating for the local game store owners than anybody. Oh, this is this this Goku with the low resolution print, but the very nice foiling. Really, the people that are hit the hardest by this are the, are the owners of the local gaming stores. I mean, my heart really goes out to you guys because, you know, you, I'm sure you all had a lot of pre-orders and it sounds like a lot of people are getting the runaround from their distributors of where there are, where the cards are, or if there are more cards coming, or if they're not getting any cards at all. Uh, it's a very confusing sequence of events. The SR Broly, this one is hype. Look at that Broly beast mode just rolling in. It's very unclear exactly what is going on, so I have created this narrative in my head that pirates have stolen uh, the Dragon Ball cards. It makes me feel better about not having them, and it makes it more fun to strip them these bootleg cards with you guys. This is the uh, Legends Goku Black's hand. Uh, these cards are just so weird. I think this is going to be another the Legends piece. I think this is probably going to be a centerpiece. It looked like it was rare Goku Parallel and Goku Black's middle of his body. Yes, that is the center of that puzzle sequence. There's going to be another Legends one on the back of here. You know it's going to be a Legends piece. It's Goku Black's right hand. Uh, when it went on the back, see this is going to be either Gogeta, this is probably going to be Gogeta, the middle of Gogeta, I'm guessing, since we just got Goku Black. In. But no, another middle of Goku Black. We've got a lot of Goku Black torsos flying around right here. This is going to be another Legends piece. It doesn't have the Purunga stuff on the back. And Goku Black's hand. I think we should have one of those puzzle pieces finished. And I wish they did more stuff with Legends art. Like, I wish that they used Legend. Oh, wow. Okay, this is the CP. This rarity is weird. This is uh, like a Majin Vegeta, I think. What the heck is going on with this card? I think we got to take a little closer look at this one here. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is for sure a PSA 1 million, no doubt. It's really strange what, it's really strange what is going on with this thing. It's like, uh, it has this gold stamp. There's no texture. There's a dent in the middle of the card running right across the middle of the card. It's got 92,000 and 88,000. I'm imagining that's like health and attack. It says they're called dragon heroes. This is called dragon heroes with no E. And there's this little hand, there's this little hand. And that it seems to be maybe like the game logo or something. Maybe this is like somewhere between, uh, I think we're gonna need to get this one on the sleeve. Oh, Ooh, ah, wow, wow, that weird quality. That quality of Cardo is feeling a little weird on my eyeballs. I've never really seen anything like this. It's so strange. <laughs> <laughs> the bootleg cards what the heck dude shout out to the homie sebastian thank you for the uh info on these cards <laughs> gotta get the we gotta get the bootleg cp lz cp 19 is the card code on this one if you guys want to <laughs> search the bootleg dragon ball card market for this weird vegeta it's cool it's cool art i like it i dig it it's just uh it's so strange it's such a weird it's so weird Ooh, SSR Bad Rock. I haven't seen this one. I wonder if there's no Bad Rock, Bard Rock, Bad Cards of Bad Rock, Bardock in this game either. Dragon Ball Super, there are definitely no Bad Bar Bad, Bad Rock, Bard Rock cards in the game. Gotta say. All right, Yamcha. Looking fierce and a rock. I think that's the lower left piece of Goku Black. I feel like we pulled almost all of Goku Black's puzzle in this one. You are Gohan! We already pulled this guy. We pulled this guy on stream. I do like this one. I like this better than the TN that we pulled the other time. But there's like, there's like all this stuff on the card. There's like, there's like these white speckles. There is a texture on it. And the one star Parunga ball. There's some kind of texture on it. Hmm. What a weird, what a weird set. This is LZUR36. They have the card codes down here. I guess they all have the card codes. I guess LZ is like the set or something. I don't know what. This is so, this is so <laughs> weird. <laughs> There's a really hype uh, Goku that we pulled on stream. It was like the, it was the Goku art from Doken. It's like Goku, Super Saiyan God Goku. SR Go. Goten, definitely a uh, bootleg from somewhere. That's probably some person that made some fan art on Pinterest and they got it in this game because all the art is from God knows where. Parallel foil, 
SS3 Goku in the afterlife. So we got the, the weird CP one and the UR. I think that's probably, those are probably the highest level rarities that we'll pull out of these, assuming that that is what they actually are. And it's not just a rare oob. The Porumbo cards are cool. I really like, I really like God Says Heroes without the E. That, that really does, uh, gets me there. Does a lot for me. SR Piccolo. Rough. Rough, rough. Rip them. Also, I gotta give a shout out to my boy Spirit Bomb for making this art that I made this t-shirt with. Uh, if you guys don't know about Spirit Bomb, he's on Instagram, makes amazing stickers. I'll put a link to his uh, website in the description below. Best way to find out about his drops is to follow him on Instagram. This one's actually pretty cool. I like this art. I like this foiling. This looks pretty boss. And the resolution is surprisingly better than the other, all like the other cards. It's like so inconsistent with the uh, resolution quality on these prints. <laughs> Very weird. Casting the spell. And we got the SR six armed Goku. Pulled that one the other time as well. And Shrippum. Only a couple more bootleg Shrippums here, guys. The SR Gohan, one armed Gohan. This one is rad. Looking really, really not pleased, but the uh, it's very pixelated. <laughs> they definitely just ripped this off of, like, downloaded this off of somewhere and then printed it because the resolution is, like, trash. But the foiling on the more rare ones is, like, pretty advanced and pretty cool. I'm pretty impressed with it. And the Purunga cards are a lot of fun. Shrippum. A Purunga back here. Wait, what the heck? What? Is it... Oh, I think these are just backwards. <laughs> uh, the bootleg card lifestyle. You gotta love it. You know, can't get enough of it. And of course, our best of blessing the bootleg, the pack. Oh, bootleg pack, we bless it. What well, can you be have it behold it as we strip them into this? Bootleg pack. I got a Purunga here. And it is the rare parallel foil Goten and the one star Purunga. Well, guys, that has been the Shrippum, the bootleg. Hopefully, we will have some set 13 relatively soon to Shrippum with you guys. I'm hoping uh, maybe next week or the week after. But until then, we'll keep Shrippuming things. I gotta come here and Shrippum. I, I love to do it. And thank you guys for watching. Can't end the episode without doing a dental tooth. Tip. Uh, these are called loops. They're uh, high magnification glasses that I use for my dental work. If you're going to a dentist and they're not using loops, probably stuff that they can't see might be worth finding a dentist that can uh, see what they're looking at a little bit better. But you know, if it's somebody you trust and, and uh, have a good relationship with, that's something that's hard to find and I respect that. But it is definitely a good thing to be going to a dentist that is using advanced dental materials and techniques. If you're new to the channel and you enjoyed this shrimp, um, smush that subscription button because we're gonna be shrimp them all the time. If you're a returning member of the Joe crew, thank you for your continued support, and I will see you guys next time.